Dubai, the real symbol of paradise on earth is well known for its majestic attractions, its unique and outstanding hotel. Dubai is the perfect place to go on vacation and to dream but the description of Dubai would be incomplete without its iconic and futuristic skyscrapers. Among them, there's the Burj Khalifa also known as the Burj Dubai. It's the tallest skyscraper in the world. But even if Dubai is already extraordinary, did you know that Dubai could have been more extraordinary if some of its mega projects were not cancelled and if they didn't failed? Have you already asked this question to yourself because some of these lost projects could have created new records for the human race? Some would have been really outstanding and could have turned Dubai into a real city of that have 100 years ahead of our time. The majority of these fantastic projects were often ruined because of economic crisis particularly the one that shocked the world in 2008 and the coronavirus in 2020. We will start our list with the one that could have been a major record breaker for the human race by its extraordinary height and could have been the first wonder of the world if it was built. The number one is Dubai City Tower. This beast was supposed to measure 2,400 meters or 7,900 feet of height three times the height of Burj Khalifa. In other words, there will be 400 habitable stories and an energy-producing spire on the top. The idea was exposed in 2008 by Maris Holding, a Dubai-based real estate investment company who wants to reinforce Jumeirah City. This large neighborhood was supposed to be connected to a marina in the Persian Gulf, through Dubai City Tower Base. To draw cruise ship passengers and host a port, one of its towers stretches into the water. This makes it possible for cruise ships to dock at this ultra-tall skyscraper with ease. This also allows the tower to bridge the gap between the beach and the mainland. There are four distinct neighborhoods along the building, each with 100 floors and a bullet train that zips people quickly between the sky plazas that divide the various levels of the skyscraper. A total of four sky plazas act like town centers, and they are constructed on the periphery of the main building. The height of each floor is 5 meters, and the top floor stands at 1,995 meters. The skyscraper was planned for mixed use with offices, hotels, and residences. The building was designed to house 10 of thousand of residents and its cost to build it would be around 3 to 5 billion US dollars which would make it the MOT expensive skyscraper ever built. The problem with these kind of hyper-tall skyscraper is the fact that because of their huge construction cost, it's hard for the developer to have a positive return on investment and be profitable. Maris Holding presented the concept in 2008 and was convinced that it could have been built in 2025. The developer knew that even if building such a structure would be an immense challenge, it was possible. The project was cancelled after the financial crisis of 2008 and since then it's the tallest cancelled skyscraper in human history. Actually the skyscraper is now considered as a pure fantasy by many and could be maybe one day resurrected. Now let's go to our second one. Nakiel Tower was a proposed hyper-tall skyscraper. The building was once intended to become the world's first building higher than 1 kilometers. Nakiel Tower would be about 1,400 meters tall and contain 200 stories. If built, it would replace Burj Khalifa as the tallest building in Dubai and the whole world. The tower is not the tallest building ever envisioned in the history, but it is considered the tallest building that began construction but never to be completed. Nakiel Tower is so tall that it will experience five different microclimatic conditions from top to bottom of the tower. Nakiel Tower was planned to be built at the intersection of Sheikh Zayed Road and the planned Arabian Canal, near Jumeirah Lake Towers and Dubai Marina. The tower is designed to be the centerpiece of a 270-hectare development called the Nakiel Harbour and Tower. Nakiel Tower would be mixed-use, it is designed to contain spaces for a variety purposes that include residential, hotel, office, observation, retail. The top of Nakiel Tower would be occupied by a luxury hotel that has 100 rooms. The whole complex of Nakiel Harbour and Tower would be home to more than 55,000 people and provide office space for more than 45,000 people, as well as 100,000 square meters of retail space. It would also have parks, canal walks, and other public space. The tower would have 156 elevators to carry residents, employees, and hotel guests up and down in the tower through its 200 floors. 
The high-speed elevators that travel to the observation deck at the top of the tower can lift people from ground to the top at over 1,000 meters in just four minutes. It was estimated that the tower would take 500,000 cubic meters of concrete to construct, and the development would take 10 years or more to complete. The pilings for Nakiel Tower were drilled in 2008, not long after the developer announced the project. Like the Dubai City Tower, this skyscraper was another victim of the financial crisis of 2008 and was cancelled in 2009 like the other following projects. Many other were lost because of this crisis. Did you know that there was an attempt to create the world's first rotating skyscraper in Dubai too? Dynamic Tower was the first attempt to realize such a marvel. Also known as the The Rotating Tower, the skyscraper was supposed to be a 420-meter and 80-floor moving building. It was proposed as the world's first prefabricated skyscraper with 40 factory-built modules for each floor. According to the architect, David Fisher, he said that 90% of the tower could be built in a factory and shipped to the construction site. This would allow the entire building to be built more quickly. Fisher said that the prefabricated portions would decrease the project's cost and the number of workers and that construction will take 30% less time than a normal skyscraper of the same height. The entire tower is proposed to be powered from wind turbines and solar panels. Enough surplus electricity should be produced to power five other similar-sized buildings in the vicinity. The majority of the workers would have been in factories, working under safer conditions. Kitchen and bathroom fixtures would be pre-installed. The turbines would be located between each of the rotating floors. In 2008, Fisher said that he expected the skyscraper that was supposed to cost $300 million to be completed in 2010. And in 2009, Fisher said construction would be complete in late 2011. Fisher did not say where the tower would be built because he wanted to keep it a surprise. To this day, construction had not started, and there has been no official announcement of the building site and when it going to go ahead. The project was officially cancelled due to financial concerns and other undisclosed factors. The next one is Bawadi. Bawadi is a huge $100 billion tourist resort plan for Dubai featuring 31 hotels with entertainment centers, shopping malls and theaters. It is in many ways Dubai's answer to the Las Vegas Strip and was envisaged as the longest hospitality and retail destination in the world, running along a 10-kilometer strip of desert. The project was supposed to be at least four times the size of Las Vegas. The mega project was launched in 2006 but fell victim the global financial crisis and never went into construction. This is the site actually. After, there was Aladdin City. Aladdin City, placed in Dubai's center was a beautiful architectural masterpiece that pays homage to the enduring tale of Aladdin and the magic lamp. Despite its modern skyscrapers Aladdin City Dubai showcases the timeless appeal of fairy tales and creative designs. The Aladdin City development comprised of three towers, a hotel, an office, a service apartment, and parking stations within the wharfage site. The project failed to go ahead because of the bad economic climate. After, there were the signature towers dotted comprised of three high-rise towers of 81-story office, 65-story hotel, 52-story residential tower and a four-story stock exchange building. The unique geometry of the towers distinguished the project as one of the boldest and most innovative breakthroughs in the integration of architecture and engineering in the world. The complex was first proposed in 2006 by Zaha Hadid Architects but it's never went ahead because of the bad economic climate in 2008. One Dubai was a trio of three super-tall skyscraper interconnected to each one other among which the tallest one was supposed to be one kilometer tall which could make of it the tallest skyscraper in the world. One Dubai includes two world-class, five- and six-star, hotels, office and retail space and some of the world's highest condominiums, including a number of exclusive, double-height penthouse units in the top levels of the three towers. In corner penthouse units, columns have been removed at the corners for unobstructed views. The concept that was designed by Adrian Smith and Gordon Gill Architects was also cancelled because of the bad economic climate. The next one is Anora Tower. International architecture firm Atkins held a design competition for its new Dubai skyscraper and ended up with what looks like a 135-story fan. 
With its height of 600 meters, it was supposed to be the third tallest building in the world when it was proposed in 2008 after, the challenge is to make sure that it actually works as a vertical city. It didn't and the project was shelved soon after. Donald Trump set his sights on the trunk of Dubai's Palm Jumeirah Island in 2005, with plans to build a 300-room skyscraper hotel. His plans fell foul of Dubai's financial crisis in 2008, forcing Donald to readjust his ambitions. The Burj Al Alam was designed to resemble a crystal flower, this 108-story monolith would have featured private apartments, rooftop gardens, and a five-star hotel with the highest bedrooms in the world. Its lofty crown would also hold a Turkish bath, the world's highest at that time. The project broke ground in 2006, but was officially cancelled in 2015. The Water Discus Hotel promises an unrivaled view of underwater life, combined with many toiletries, Nespresso machines, trouser presses, and all the usual trappings one expects from luxury accommodation. The project emerged in 2012 but hasn't made it past the dreaded slated for construction phase because of economic reasons. Burj Jumeirah was a 550-meter-tall skyscraper in Dubai that was supposed to rise from a lake shape like the fingerprint of the Emirates ruler. Unveiled by state-owned Dubai Holding, the super-tall skyscraper has been dubbed as the new icon in Dubai the mirrored pond will be surrounded by shops and be complete with water fountains and a terraced outdoor amphitheater. The building was unveiled in 2019 and was expected to open in Wayne Park Avenue is 550 meters tall and 116 stories skyscraper designed by Adrian Smith plus Gordon Gill architecture firm. The mixed-use skyscraper was cancelled in 2019 for undisclosed reasons. There was the Dubai Towers Dubai that was a proposed four-tower complex. The towers were planned to have between 57 and 94 stories. There was the Pearl a 73-story, 300m tall residential skyscraper. The project would have cost $4 billion and was cancelled in 2007. Our last one was the proposal for Maiden City. Maiden Real Estate, a state-owned developer, wanted to build a brand new luxury city next to Dubai. Plans were settled in 2015 and the developer wanted to complete the project by 2020 when they are set to the World Expo. Residents can enjoy a massive shopping mall with over 500 stores, 100 restaurants, and the world's largest indoor ski slope. The said ski slope stretches up to a 1.2-kilometer downhill run. The mall also features a 13,200-square-meter hypermarket. They aim to provide all the possible grocery needs of an individual. They are also planning to build the greatest residential tower in this brand new city. It is said to stand at 2,333 feet with 85 residential apartments. It will feature a five-star hotel with 350 rooms. At the heart of the city is a giant fountain that could shoot water up to 380 meters. The developer of the $30 billion luxurious Paradise City City that was intended to accommodate 80,000 residents with 40 million square feet started facing some financial difficulties in 2020 when the pandemic took everyone by surprise, Maiden Real Estate started facing some financial fallout. The development of the project was paused as the developer tried restricting the staggering $4 billion debt. After it was cancelled and only a small portion of the project was realized. The Maiden Hotel Dubai five-star hotel and some apartment blocks were only constructed. A good portion of the project is also abandoned and unfinished. Maybe one day, the project will be resurrected. If some of Dubai's cancelled projects went ahead, Dubai could have looked like its real vision of the year 2071 in our time. The city could have looked like a real Star Trek city even if it's really already awesome. Could you have imagined mentally the look of the city with all these awesome projects being built? Imagine if the two economic crisis never happened and allowed all these projects to go ahead, especially the Dubai City Tower. It's not only Dubai that would have won, but our entire generation because it would have been epic to have in our lifetime such a skyscraper that surpassed the two-kilometer mark. It would have marked our time forever. Currently, we don't have even a one-kilometer tall skyscraper and our only hope to have one is the Kingdom Tower that has resumed construction in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. Would you like that these projects went ahead? If yes, please leave your comment. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and to subscribe.